Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. The Premier League is on a two week break, which means that it will be all AFL this week. So uh, look forward to that. I got work from Thursday to Monday though, so it won't be any, and no live reactions, but highlights reactions, at least one game a day. Assuming they upload it, then I shall do it. But yeah, all AFL this week, apart from maybe Thursday. Um, this won't be a video. I've literally got a super coach up because I want to draft players in and I've seen your tips. Pretty much all of you said Paddy out because of you know what. Um, but different, I got different answers for who to bring in. So I'll sort it out, but I'm doing that off camera. But next week I'll probably do a video uh, showing him around two points. Anyway, uh, yeah, A4W predictions. I got five. 40 total tips. It should be 45, I'm pretty sure. Fixture rearrangements. Once again, I remind you, fixture rearrangements cost me about five or six tips. Just saying. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, um, I got Carlton. Giants, Collingwood, uh, Richmond and Adelaide. Not bad. Um, the two games I got wrong, you know, Brisbane and North, these are two very good teams. Um, I went with North to take a risk, I guess, but obviously the Brisbane Lions won and that's fair enough. I got it wrong, fair play. Uh, Freo and Melbourne, um, I thought Freo would win, but Melbourne did really well and they won the game, so uh, that's, that's an impressive win in my opinion. Um, obviously, they're, they're not exactly a joke. <laughs> they're very good as well. But I'm just saying, I did not expect them to win away at Frio, but they did, so that's good for them. Also, Carlton scored 87 points. I'm pretty sure I was told this is the highest scoring AFLW score. So uh, I want you to answer this question. Who will be the first team to hit 100 points in the AFLW? And I specify AFLW because it might, have, it might have happened in the state leagues. It might have in the VFLW maybe. But in the AFLW, what, who do you think would be the first team to do it? Um, and also, has it been done in other leagues? It probably has, in a state league maybe. But still, let me know, because Carlton have got 87 now, they're not far off, that's just 13 points, you know, two goals and a behind away from, yeah, <laughs> away from 100. Um, Adelaide on seven, you know, Adelaide are not far behind getting that. You know what, that's my prediction. Adelaide, the team to win the first A4W flag, will be the first team to under points in this league. There we go, that's my prediction. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good though, you know? Signs of improvement. Uh, Carlton have been there since the very start, very first game, I'm pretty sure, for W. And they're scoring 87 points, like, four years later, I think. So, um, yeah, I, I, think it's, uh, I think there's definitely improvement that's happening, for sure. And Richmond, and even Collingwood, they've certainly shot up a little bit more. Richmond obviously is still down here. But they're already scoring good, good scores and they're getting better. So, uh, yeah, um, looking forward to seeing uh, more scores in future, in future seasons. But so far, 87 points is uh, pretty damn cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, in terms of the comp, I should be higher. That's all I will tell you. I should be like second. But uh, Keith is there first. He's still first. He's been first since round one, I think. Either that or round two, one of the two. He's, he's been first since the very start. Uh, Scott's not that, not that far behind. Lukewarm beverage. I like that. I, I really like that. Elvis! Mate, the legend that is Elvis is right here. AFL boy. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that name. But okay. Yes. Kate D, is, is that a pun or is, is Cat D? Is that a pun or a nickname? I don't know. I'm, I'm right here though. I am Sir Davidoff, 40 points. I mean, I'll take 40, but I should be second. You know, uh, I'm just, if, if you're new here, if you're new here, right, there were fixture rearrangements. All right, I'll bring this up again. If you've been here every week, I'm sorry, but I'll bring this up again. All right, I should have got six this week. I should have got six. But fixtures got rearranged, I didn't check the uh, the tipping page after, and it cost me. I should have got six here, and I should have got six here as well. I missed out on uh, on two here. No, one, I missed out on one, okay. four. Pl I, I missed out on five tips, I should be on 45, okay. I'm just saying, just saying. Who's top, by the way? Rankings, not my comp. Ah, 2093rd I am, yeah, brilliant. Sarah Jones, 49 tips, jeez. That's cool, one round to go as well. Looking close, although we have a two tip lead. I think Keith might have won my comp. 
I mean, it's possible to catch him, but considering how well he's doing, average 5.8, seven games a week, he'd have to mess up pretty badly. So uh, Keith might have won. <laughs> I think from next year, I might introduce prizes. <laughs> it's a bit late to do it now. But uh, I don't know what I'd do though, because I'm not rich. So it's not that like I can't give away an Xbox. So what would I do? $10? <laughs> I've done one giveaway in like four years. And there's a reason for that. I can't do more. Um, not much more anyway. Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, there we go. Um, on to round nine. Let's tip these games quickly. I've been here six minutes. I've not even started tipping yet. It's called a tipping video, Davidoff. Tip! Western Bulldogs! I think we'll beat Richmond. By three goals. North Melbourne. I'm going to say they defeat Frio. Yeah, I'm going to say they defeat Frio. Against the crowd. Against the crowd. Melbourne to beat Brisbane. Capitalising on their Frio victory. Alright, I'm going for this. Going for the risks. Alright, Gold Coast. We'll beat Geelong. I mean, they both lost every game. <laughs> Would be funny if they drew, you know. If they draw, we get it right. Everyone gets it right, so I guess that's a good thing. But still, I think it's only fair that they draw. Yeah, give everyone a point. <laughs> everyone two points. Um, wait, it is, it is. Wait. How many points is it for a win in A4W? Is it two points or, or four? It's two points, right? I've lost my maths already. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on. Um, Adelaide. Adelaide, uh, I think, will beat Collingwood. Uh, Carlton, I think, will beat GWS. And the Saints will beat the West Coast Eagles. So, yeah, Saints, Carlton, Adelaide, Gold Coast. Melbourne and North, yes. I am sticking with that. And the Western Bulldogs by 18. So, yeah, there we go. Um... Yeah, it is. It is four points. Yes. Yeah, it is four points. Why do I think it was two? I think that's... No, that, that's Sanifo, isn't it? That's Sanifo. For some reason, I thought this was two. You know what? Ignore me. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly... I'm on something today. I really am. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, these are my tips. This video has been very unorganized, but um, this is the video. Here is my tips. You've seen my tips here. Um, judging by these percentages, um, maybe there's injuries I'm unaware of or something. Or maybe everyone just thinks these are definitely going to win. Obviously, they're two fantastic teams. I mean, look where they are. Look where they are. Look where Freo were last year as well. Yeah, you know, you can see why uh, people would tip these. I am just saying that these two teams winning at home is not a bad prediction. Although I don't recognise the stadium, so this oval. So uh, is it, that that's their home, right? Uh, or or are they playing somewhere else because of travel restrictions? I recognise Casey Fields. I don't. Rec you can let me know. <laughs> this is a home game. Yes, right? Yes, yes. I'm very smart. All right. You know what? Let's stop talking. Goodbye. <laughs>